Hello and welcome. Today I've got an interesting video for you showing electrification. Electrification of vehicles is something which uh, interests me a great deal. This is talking about a lorry, a truck, uh, HGV, but uh, it does have an application in the motorhome world as well. Now, Haim has said that they'll start thinking seriously about electric motorhomes when the range can be as much as 450 kilometers. In the video you're about to see, which I'm sorry is not a video, but photographs, uh, the range is 200 kilometers. It's going into mass production. It's uh, Mercedes uh, is now finished with uh, the, the trials, just about anyway. It intends mass production in 2021. This vehicle has a range of 200 kilometers, and that is irrespective of the topography going up hills or whatever or running aircon or whatever it will work aircon for the transport so it's a very exciting prospect have a look at the film and put your comments below a practical test of the battery electric mercedes-benz E Actros is now underway at the company Inapa Deutschland in Ettlingen. This paper wholesaler is to use the heavy duty electric truck for the distribution of paper packed on pallets to printers in the Karlsruhe area. The vehicle has a range of approximately 200 kilometers and will cover a distance of between 150 and 200 kilometers each day. Its batteries will then be recharged overnight at Inapa's depot in Ettlingen. Since 2018, Mercedes has been using the prototype of the e Actros to gain important insights for the planned start of mass production of the battery electric truck in 2021. With this important milestone in mind, the company is testing the e Actros every day in a wide range of applications together with its future orientated customers as part of its innovation fleet. Frank Weithauser, Chief Operating Officer at Inapa Deutschland GmbH, said, Environmental protection and sustainability are amongst our most important tasks in this business with paper and paper products. As a leading paper wholesaler, we bear a high level of responsibility going far beyond our immediate economic activities in the field of paper solutions. Of course, this also includes transport logistics, which is entrusted with product distribution. It is right here that the locally emission-free e Actros contributes to our environmental strategy. We are looking forward to the upcoming practical use of this truck. So Frank must be pretty confident because as most paper users require just-in-time deliveries, then Inapa could face real problems if the lorry doesn't perform. In 2020, the e Actress has been in the second phase of its practical testing as part of the innovation fleet. One of the many findings gained during the practical tests is that the e Actros range of about 200 kilometers has proven to be absolutely realistic, regardless of payload, route or topography. The e Actros is in no way inferior to a conventional diesel truck in terms of availability and performance in urban traffic, on highways or overland routes. That's according to the research done by Mercedes-Benz. The cooling system for the cargo, the air conditioning, are both electrically operated and have been functioning without any limitation in both extreme heat and winter conditions. Drivers appear to like the continuous availability of torque across the entire speed range. They also report in particular on the quiet driving style and a pleasant, smooth driving experience. In addition, when driving with foresight, 
electrical energy can be recovered through recuperation. The e-Actros is based on the chassis of the Mercedes-Benz Actros. In addition, however, the vehicle's architecture is completely geared to electrical drive and it has a high proportion of specific parts. Drive is provided by two electric motors close to the rear axle wheel hubs with an output of 126 kW each and a maximum torque of 485 Nm each. This results in 11,000 Nm each after the transmission ratio which is a performance equivalent to that of a conventional truck. Lithium ion batteries with 240 kilowatt hour supply the energy for the e-actress. Depending on the available charging power the batteries can be fully charged within three hours at 80 kW. The development and testing of heavy duty electric trucks in distribution transport is being funded partially by public funds in Germany. Mercedes says that the mass-produced e actress will be a significantly superior vehicle to the prototype in a number of respects, such as range, power and safety. The e actress will be launched as a two and three axle vehicle. Mass production is scheduled to start in 2021 at the Werte plant on the Rhine. In addition, Daimler trucks will embed the vehicle in a holistic ecosystem that also includes consulting services relating to e-mobility. They include route analyses, checking for potential subsidies, support for operational fleet integration and the development of suitable charging infrastructure solutions. So what do you think of that then? Put your comments down below. Now of course I run a motorhome channel not a channel on lorries and transport. So, what I think you might be interested to see is a motorhome. This only shows you the potential. The motorhome in this film comes from Morello and it's diesel. But imagine that if Mercedes has any success with this, then what we're going to see is electric motorhomes that look like this within maybe even five years. But do remember the motorhome in this video is diesel.